Hello, and thank you so much for joining me today. And I say that every, you know, every time I do a video, I always thank you for uh, spending your time with me because I know that your time is valuable. So today we're going to make mock-ups using a tool called Placeit. Now Placeit is by Envato. You may have heard that, that name before. There is a Envato Marketplace, and it's the same company. If you've uh, bought things from Envato Marketplace, you know that they have a membership that you can use to buy things that you can use on social media, on your website. Um, if you have a store, maybe you have a Shopify store or you have a WooCommerce store, they have things like templates, images, they have sound, so like audio, if you need a specific, um, you know, sound effect, um, they have uh, clip art, they have designs, they have photographs, all the things that you would need to uh, convey your marketing message online, um, you can get those items through the Envato Marketplace. Now, Placeit is a little bit different. It has some designs, and I'm gonna show you some of the you know different designs and things like that that are available here on Placeit. But the thing that I use Placeit for are the mock-ups. So in yesterday's video, we talked about, number one, we went into Canva and we made some mock-ups using Canva. Today, we're gonna to use a different tool. Canva is a really um, beginner-friendly tool, and this is a really um, easy-to-use tool as well. Uh, the main thing you need to do is make your design, and we talked about this yesterday as well, where you know when you have a mock-up, the thing that you need is a design, and you need a, uh, I call it a photograph. So basically, somewhere to put that design that shows uh, your potential customers what that product is gonna look like when they get it home. So I'm gonna show you really quickly how to put together a mock-up and then I'll also show you the designs. You can make logos on here, you can make videos. So if you're someone who likes to make uh, video reels, maybe you want to make um, video shorts, those shorts are uh, very popular on YouTube you can make those on here as well. And then if you're a gamer, you know, there are things that you can do on here. Um, if you are making items like intros and outros for your Twitch channel or your video game channel, there are YouTube templates, YouTube ba uh, banners, YouTube in cards, thumbnails, all those things are available right here on Placeit. Now, right now they are having a sale. And if you take advantage of this sale, you're gonna get 10% off um, on, off of your uh, subscription. So we'll talk about that as well. So a lot of stuff to cover today, um, but I just wanna show you some of the things that you can get with Placeit. Now, you can get a free account, just like with Canva, you can get a free account with Placeit, but the free account with Placeit is a lot more restrictive. So when you have a free account with Placeit, they put um, a watermark on your designs and you're not able to actually have those free unlimited downloads. And really none of the downloads are free. But if you buy a monthly membership or you buy an annual membership, you'll be able to get as many downloads as you want. And you can basically come to, to uh, Placeit, make your uh, mock-up, or your design or your logo or whatever, and then download it to your computer and use it wherever you want to. So it's really a great tool in that respect. But when you have a free account, you can't really download unless you buy uh, the individual designs, which is a lot more expensive than getting the, um, the subscription. So right now they have the back to school sale. You can take advantage of that as long as you get your, um, your order or your subscription in before Friday, um, August 5th of 2022. So here we go. We're gonna just go in and make a mock-up. And since we did an apparel mock-up yesterday, I'm gonna do a print-on-demand mock-up today. So we're gonna take drinkware, uh, maybe a coffee mug. We'll take a coffee mug and we will, um, put an image on a coffee mug. And as you can see, when you go out to place it, you can 
hover over the images and they will kind of, you know, show you what uh, various images look like on these products. But the thing that you want is to have your images on these products. And so while this gives you kind of an idea of, you know, mocking up an item, you definitely want to choose uh, your designs. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to choose a scene, which is like the photo that we talked about yesterday. So if you have a photo or a scene or somewhere to put that image that is flat or it's, um, it's, you know, laid out in a way that makes it easy for you to get that image on there so that it looks realistic, that is what you want to do. So I'm going to take this picture of this woman. Um, she looks like she's gazing off into wherever and she's having her morning coffee. So we're going to take her and we are going to put an image on her coffee mug. So the way that you do this is there is a um, place where you can add text and there's also a place where you can upload your design. And so yesterday we talked about um, having a design and let me just find a design really quick. Um, we talked about having a design aspect uh, when it comes to um, and this doesn't have any designs in it. Okay. Um, there's a design that you need to have. That's one of the elements of having a, um, a mock-up. And then you also need a scene or a graphic or an image of some kind. So it looks like we're going to have to make, maybe we'll use this design. Crocheting is my jam. So hopefully she's somebody, you know, and you have to kind of visualize, um, who your ideal customers are. So this says, um, you know, crocheting is my jam and it kind of put the image on the front. I really don't like that image on the front. I really want it to be on one side or the other. So I'm gonna choose uh, this person that's holding the mug in their hand. Okay, so that looks a little better. So now we have our image on, you know what? I don't like that image. I'm sorry. We're going to put bad mother crafter. And believe it or not, that is the image that we used when we were in Canva making our mock-up. We're going to use the same image. Um, yesterday we used it on um, a t-shirt. Today we're going to use it on this mug. And as you can see, it looks pretty decent. I like it. It's um, a little colorful. And this would be for someone who is a crafter, you know, someone who loves to make things and they, um, you know, they're known for the, the items that they make. So now this is a kind of a lilac color that I'm choosing here or a light pink. And um, I think that will be fine. We'll use that. And so this is the mock-up. This is it. So we have um, a woman holding a mug. And as you can see, it also has the made with place it um, watermark on it. And that's because I haven't logged into my account. I'm using the free version because I want you to be able to see, you know, what you get when you sign up for the free version. Now, the other thing that I want you to notice is you can look at some of these designs here at the bottom. And if you don't like this design, maybe you, you know, it looks different um, than you thought it would. You can choose another, so we can choose this person. And I think we're gonna have to put our design on here again. Let's see if the design stays on. Nope, we have to put the design back on there but that's okay. So here's somebody different that might, you know, be a better fit for what we're trying to accomplish. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to insert the image since it was recently uploaded. Oh, because I'm using the free account and I'm not logged in, it didn't hold on to my image. So that's okay. We'll just go out here and choose it again. And we're going to make it a little bit larger.
okay whatever we're going to crop it and then place it is going to put it on the side of our mug so place it will put it you know and if you want it to be a little smaller you can always go over here and resize it and make it smaller so now I'm making it smaller let's see kind of brought it down a little bit so it depends on how you like your design. You know, some people like the really big designs. Some people like them to be a little bit smaller. Now, the other thing that I can do is I can come over here and I can make my mug um, kind of a light pink. This kind of looks like a light pink or a light, kind of a light lilac color, but this kind of adds more um, personality to the mug. Now, if you are not able to offer a light pink mug, Maybe if you're doing print on demand and the people who are doing your printing uh, don't offer this color mug, then you definitely want to stick with uh, the colors that you have access to. So I'm going to change this back to white. And so that is pretty much it. Now, if you have a paid plan, you can download this image and use it wherever. You can use it on social media. You can use it on your blog. You can use it in any marketplace that you might be um, selling products maybe you're on eBay or Facebook marketplace or you know some of the other places that allow you to sell um, various products so you can use this wherever you want to use it now when you have a paid plan you also get rid of the watermark the watermark will actually go away so um, let's just click on the download button and I'm going to show you what happens when you have a free account so what they're they're going to do is, you know, ask you if you want to get the unlimited subscription. And then here is the pricing. So if you want to get the annual plan, you can pay $80.72 a year. Um, and you're going to save six, uh, 54% plus you're going to get an additional 10% off if you take advantage of the back to school sale. Now you can also get this on a monthly basis. Maybe you don't have $80 laying around right now. But you can still get this um, unlimited subscription for $13.45 a month. And that saves you 10% if you take advantage of this before the sale ends. So you can get this image that we just made, you know, by using one of these methods. Or if you just want a single mock-up, you can purchase it for $7.95. So think about this, if you want to use, um, you know, mockups on your site or on social media or whatever, you're going to want more than one. You're going to want to be able to go in and make mockups as you need them so that you can make money, you know, because these mockups really do help you to sell more products. People want to be able to see your designs on products and they want to see realistic views of your products and of your designs so that they can kind of see is this something that's going to look right in my environment so if you're selling for example if you're selling a wall hanging people want to know you know kind of what it's going to look like when it's in a room when it's hanging on a wall so you want to show a picture you want to show a mock-up of your image or your design inside a frame on the wall and that's basically what these mock-ups do for you so there's the pricing, you know, make a decision on whether this would be a good fit for you. Um, but you can always, um, you know, sign up for this, uh, become a subscriber for about $13 a month. Now, when you sign up as a subscriber, you're going to have access to the mock-ups. You'll have access to the designs. So let's look at the apparel and print uh, mock-ups so we're going to use um, well this is t-shirt designs let's see what it says here so here are some t-shirt designs now see and this is the thing a lot of times we over analyze our design work so I have seen so many people who have just one word you know and they take that word they put it on a t-shirt and they sell it and the t-shirts sell um, I see people use motivational quotes and you have to always, you know, make sure that you're not overstepping as far as copyright or anything like that. If you're using a um, motivational quote or any kind of quote, you want to make sure that you give uh, credit to, you know, whoever made the quote. And then you want to make sure that you don't have any 
uh, copyright issues but here are some of the designs that they have that you can use design templates that you can use to make your t-shirt so maybe you're not that um, crafty when it comes to you know utilizing um, software or maybe you don't have a lot of ideas that um, come to mind you can kind of look at some of these items and use them for motivation and then you know make them your own and just make very simple designs one word designs or you know one image designs and start you know putting your uh, products together okay so then let's look at oh they have cost t-shirts let's see what they have under cost t-shirts so equality for everyone they have some earth day stuff believe in equality for all breast cancer awareness black and proud uh, i am black history faith over fear i love that um that phrase do not tolerate uh, violence and that's for domestic violence so these are some ideas again that you can use um, and I'm assuming that if you want to just grab one of these this is a temp these are templates and you could grab these and use them as you know inspiration here's some holiday t-shirts so we'll just kind of take a look at some of these okay so there's some of the designs we have logos let's look at that so in your company name i'm just going to say making it and we'll click on next pick an industry um arts and crafts let's go Get a logo for your arts and craft project. Okay, so here are some ideas for logos that I can use for my business or for a project or something that I might be working on. Maybe I'm going to create a logo for a client, um, but here we are. And it's kind of taking a while for these to load but you kind of get the gist and my microphone is just really not cooperating with me um, but we're going to get through this video so then for videos we have uh, gaming videos we have why won't this work okay let's see make a video that stands out what kind of video are you making today so slideshows instagram stories intro makers promotional videos and so this is the thing you can make a video like this like an instagram story or a youtube short and publish it and then you know use it on social media and it kind of gives people a really quick look into the things that you're trying to promote so you can make some of these and really um, grab attention and also, you know, let people know what you do in your business. Gaming. So let's look at the gaming um, items. So we have animated logos, gaming mock-ups, streaming, um, OBS stream overlays. Those are really good to have as well. If you use the OBS uh, streaming platform, you can get some tools that you can use on that platform here's some twitch templates so twitch is pretty popular or at least it used to be real popular um, so there's lots of things that you can use for twitch and then here are some things that you can use for youtube and then also um, amazon merch so gaming mock-ups as well as uh, t-shirt designs let's just look at some of the gaming mock-ups so here's some of the gaming mock-ups that you have access to with your membership. So this is pretty cool if you ask me. Um, but anyway, this is Place It. This is what um, I use all the time for my mock-ups. When I'm not using Canva, I'm using um, Place It. 
and I also use Placeit for my video shorts. So I do some video shorts on uh, YouTube and this is the tool that I use for that. So you can, you know, very quickly, if you have your design, you can very quickly find a scene on Placeit and then, you know, it really makes it easy to pair up your graphic designs with the scenes to make a mock-up. So I'm gonna go back to this um, main page and let's see if there is a place for us to look at this sale. Um, thousands of free templates just for you. Let's see what this says. The easiest way to create professional designs for free Choose our ever-changing library of free mock-ups, designs, videos, and logos. So um, if you are using the free account, um, they don't let you download, but you can create um, mock-ups. So you can get this unlimited subscription. If you buy that $80 annual plan, it comes out to about $6.73 per month, which is a lot cheaper. That's almost half of that $13 a month that you would pay when you sign up for the monthly subscription. So consider whether you wanna use the monthly subscription or the annual subscription. And take advantage of this back to school sale, get your mock-ups and get started. So I will put a link below this video that you can use to head back over to uh, Placeit and um, you know sign up if you're looking for a, a really great tool to make mock-ups with, you can sign up and get started as long as you get started before Friday, um, August the 5th. So thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next video where we will continue our discussion of mock-ups. All right, have a good evening and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.